Bacteria are associated with numerous infections that make them medically important. Let's discuss a few groups of bacteria that are extremely important in medicine. These include gram-positive and negative cocci, gram-negative cocobacilli, gram-positive and negative bacilli, spiral bacteria, mycoplasma and chlamydia, and rickettsia. Gram-positive cocci are further divided into two main groups, the staphylococci, the major pathogen being Staph aureus, these are catalase positive, and the streptococci, these are catalase negative, the major pathogens being Streptococcus pyogenes, which causes sore throat and rheumatic fever, and Strep agalactiae, which causes neonatal meningitis and pneumonia. Gram-negative cocci include pathogenic uh, Neisseria meningitis, an important cause of meningitis and septicemia, and Neisseria gonorrhoeae, the agent of urethritis or gonorrhea. Gram-negative cocobacilli include the respiratory pathogens Haemophilus and Bordetella and zoonotic agents such as Brucella and Pastorella. Gram-positive bacilli are divided into sporing and non-sporing. The sporing types are subdivided into those that are aerobic and those that are anaerobic. Pathogens include Bacillus anthracis, which causes anthrax and clostridia, which cause pseudomembranous colitis, tetanus, and more rarely gas gangrene and botulism. The non-sporing pathogens include Listeria and cor Corinibacteria. Gram-negative bacilli, including the family Enterobacteriaceae, form part of the normal flora of humans and animals and can be found in the environment. They include many pathogenic genera, Salmonella, Shigella, Escherichia, Proteus, and Yersinia. Pseudomonas and Burcholderia are environmental saprophytes that are naturally resistant to antibiotics and are important hospital pathogens. Legionella lives in the environment and water but can cause human infection if conditions in the built environment allow it to gain a foothold. Then we have spiral bacteria. These include the small gastrointestinal pathogens Helicobacter that colonizes the stomach leading to gastric and duodenal ulcers and gastric ulcers and Campylobacter species that cause acute diarrhea. So an example would be Campylobacter saprophyticus. Uh, the Borrelia may cause a chronic disease of the skin joints and central nervous system called Lyme disease, which is caused by Borrelia burgdorferi, or rarely relapsing fever, Borrelia dutani and Borrelia rucantis. The leptospira are zoonotic agents that cause an acute meningitis syndrome that may be accompanied by renal failure and hepatitis. The treponema include the causative agent of syphilis, treponema pallidum. And then we have mycoplasma and chlamydia. These are responsible for common respiratory and sexually transmitted infections. Finally, we have rickettsia. These are agents of typhus and rare or severe infections. So there you have it. That's it for the lecture on structure and classification of bacteria.